Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Enjoy Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, if you're 8333, and we're at Irithyll. Rather faster than I expected, to be quite honest. But here we are. And there's a monster on this bridge. I want to fight this prepared. I have now prepared. Let's fight this thing. I'm going to show up here somewhere. There it is, the Watchdog of the Old Lords. I know it's called something different in this game. I don't care. It's the Watchdog of the Old Lords. Just without the fire. Oh, that'd be cool, though. Okay, I'm being careless. Being really careless here. Let's not die. Let's not die to this fight that's clearly easy for what I'm doing. Oh, I was visceral, too. Nice! All right, well, that was... That was the Pontiff Beast. And I don't see Sierra's sign on here. Okay. I think I know what's going on. I'm just... At some point, I'm going to see Sierra the Sunless Realm's sign on this bridge. But I think I have to find her sign near where the Mound Maker's Covenant is formed. And then I can go deal with it. That homer bonus in case you don't have the doll. But I do have the doll. So I can walk through the weird wibbly wall without any problems. Anyway, considering the circumstances, I'm... I'm gonna go down there. Check out the Pit of Hollows, see if there's anything there. I think there is. Because she's all about Hodrick, and that's the big problem. Also, now that I'm in Irithyll, I should talk to Greyrat. Greyrat wants to rob Irithyll, but I need to get patches to save Greyrat after Greyrat goes in and basically puts himself in a position where he's gonna get himself killed. Oh. Hmm. I don't remember where you find that part of the quest. Like, you fight Hodrick in here, but you get teleported here. Somehow Sierra can leave signs in completely different areas. Hmm, unless it's over here. Next to where you actually fought Hodrick in the first place. Nope, apparently not. Oh well. Oh yeah, you... What is the fight to fight you now? Trivial! It is trivial to fight you now! Good to know! Alright, well, you're done. I'll have to look it up, I guess, or double check some things. I can't remember. I thought it was. I thought it was Irithyll first. I guess I'm wrong. Now to deal with Grey Rat. Yes. Well, actually, no, you'll die in a sewer unless I do something about it, so give me a sec. We'll meet again, if I do this right. Alright, Patches. You said you owed Grey Rat one. Okay, so I think if I reload the area, that'll mean Patches will go and Grey Rat will live. But I want to double check. If Patches isn't there, then everything's probably golden. Well, Patches is gone, so... I guess it's as good as done. Let's just hope for the best once I beat Pond of Sullivan. There's Sirius' sign. Oh, right, she gets invaded in this one. It's the second one that she fights Hodrick. Oh, never mind, the Hodrick Creighton. Oh, yeah, the Dark Souls 2 reference. So I take it we're in the timeline where I didn't kill you in Bright Stone Cove, Sildora, and killed Pate instead. And then just killed both of you. Okay, cool. We can just trade off, that'll work. Oh, that was close. Well, for me, it hit Cirrus. Hit Cirrus full force. Oh, shoot, you can't heal up either. Okay, I've got to tank this. Oh, right, I should probably have stocked up on those Lloyd's Talismans or Undead Hunter Charms, whatever it is. Which Cl Creighton clearly has. I mean, turnabout's fair play. If they're going to use it, I might as well myself. Sadly, I don't have them prepped. They're in my inventory. I guess I could menu into them, but no. Ha! Okay, there we go. Got you again? Why do you keep getting out of my... <sighs> okay, well, that's your last one, so... Oh, good, I can't friendly fire. That's actually really important to note. I was worried I would. Again, Bloodborne. There's a few quests where you have to help someone out, but... You can actually friendly fire them. Mind you, you're also not... Oh, seriously? You're you're not a summoned phantom. You're actually just part of the same world. How much healing do you have? I mean, it should be two Estus flasks. Feels like more, though. Ah, okay. 
I mean, granted, I get healing off of hitting you, so I guess fair is fair, but still, like, seriously, quit it! Quit it! Come on! Good, you're being teamed up on it, at least. I have Sirius. Sirius has my back, since she's very good at dealing with yours. And I have Sirius's back. Once you're done dealing with her. And she's got plenty of heal, so yeah, we're all good. Goodbye, Creighton. Tell Pate I said hi. That was a bit harder than I thought. Okay, well, you're welcome. And now to return to a load screen. Or not, through the magic of editing. So, that's done. Did I get any souls for that? No, I didn't. That was... That was me working for free. As I recall, she pops up in Firelink Shrine, so I might as well just pop back there. Talk to her again. I don't think I need to talk to her again for a little later. But I do know I fight Hodrick around where the Cursed Rider Greatwood fight happens. So I need to go there eventually. And Sirius, need to write stuff down, because I can't hear you. Nothing for a generous rescue. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, that's probably Spears when you use his fingers. Follow Pastor Ross when you look in the darkness. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't be in that covenant either. Your sworn enemies. Well, that makes sense. Here's some invaders. Yes, I've had to deal with them before. I agree on that one. But I'm in it alone. You have my deepest gratitude. Again, you're welcome. Yay! Oh, you do get a silver cat ring in this game. Oh, I was not sure. If you require help in your travels, I offer you my sign. Okay, thanks. That's cool. I mean, to be fair, the the spook spell does basically the same thing as the silver cat ring. So for a sorcery build, it's not a big deal. But it's still good to know because I didn't realize there was a silver cat ring, and I remember episode two or three, episode three. When I was exploring around the Undead Settlement, the opening area, I was musing about the Silver Cat Ring and didn't realize it was also in 3. I'd forgotten about that. So, that being said, we are now going to take on Urethal properly. And that's going to be tricky. Urethal is a tricky place where I might actually be well served by parrying, if I get the timing right. So we'll have a Weary Warrior, I think it's like 4,000... Which isn't bad, actually, considering what I have right now. So yeah, this is tricky. And there's ghosts! Mostly, there's just a lot of really fast attacking enemies. And I gotta be careful. Oh yeah! Fast attack enemies that throw their face at me! I forgot about that! Ow! Okay, that's faster than I expected. But not fast enough! Oh! Oh nice, and I one-shot off a parry! Oh, that is beautiful. I mean, I grant that only really works in the more enclosed areas, and if I manage to get everything right. And when I'm only fighting one at a time. But, given those restrictions, that still works out pretty well. Also, I got the cool armor. Pontifact armor is awesome. I wore it all the time in my last playthrough. Oh, and again! Again! Oh, I'm so happy. The parrying dagger is working beautifully. And I'm getting more Pontifact Knight armor. I mean, I don't know if it's too heavy for my current build, but it might not be. Oh, whoops. Oh, too late. Well, the right idea. Just need to be a bit more careful about how I approach that. And also kick properly so that I can get the stab in so that I can make you die. Well, that was an encouraging opening. Very encouraging opening. Remember the first time I went through here, I didn't have parrying available, and I was just desperately rolling around everything, just trying to find some avenue of ingress so I could kill them. And I kind of couldn't, not for a little while. And this time, on the other hand, it's just knock your sword away and then plunge my dagger through your throat. And everyone's happy. Except the person with the dagger in their throat. I mean, they might be happy, I don't know, they might be extremely masochistic. And, I mean, who would I be to deny them the pleasure of a knife inside them. Like, that would just be cruel of me. So I'm just going to assume all the Erythelians are masochists, and that I'm doing them a favor. Also you. I don't know if you're a masochist. I mean, if you are a masochist, please let me know, and I'd be glad to help. If you're not a masochist, too bad. I'm still glad to help. And, yes, I do mean provide a very specific kind of help. Oh, I'm going to need to go for this... For the twin blades here. Okay, pull you away. Yep, you're going for it. 
Are you going to come at me? Oh, come on. You can come at me. It's fine. Oh, whoa. Okay, I almost got hit there. Ah! See, this is why I went for this weapon, because I can hit groups. And it's moderately fast, so I can just circle around all this damage coming in. Now I can hit you with the weapon I want to use. Now I hit you with the daggers. What? Really? You're just going to let me backstab you? Oh, no, I can't just backstab you. Shoot! How deceptive! Darn you, Fire Witch! You have deceived me! As for these things, actually, might as well just shoot them. And why not? Really? Then I can get them to come after me, and then I can just kill them. Ha! Ha! Yeah! Ah! There we go! Almost, almost fully healed. See, there's a Fire Witch up there, and I don't want to get too close, because if I go inside the circle area, then I have to fight both the Fire Witch and these guys, and that's just too much. Oh, and now you're just going to let me hit you? Perfect. And heal up to full. So Lloyd's Shield Ring will do its trick. I will grant, though, that come the point where I actually have to fight that thing, I'll probably have already gotten the Ring of the Evil Eye. Okay, so this is a bit of a tricky bit. Like, this is this area is something of a stealth mission. If I want to get through without dying. If I don't care about dying, then obviously I can just sit here and get killed. That is, of course, always an option. That is how Dark Souls works. If you wish to die, the game will very happily oblige. If you do not wish to die, obviously you have to work a little harder for that. The game isn't quite so kind. However, if I'm able to get one-on-one -on -one with either of these Irithyll Knights, I'm good. If I have to go two-on-one, -on -one, God help me. But one-on-one -on -one and we're good. That's kind of why it's a stealth mission. Actually, come to think of it, if I go spook, I might be able to get through them. I mean, now I can just run. And eh, they don't seem to care. Wonderful. The reason I care is because I want to get to Henri again. Henri's all over the place. He's kind of your boyfriend, and then you marry him by killing him. It's a bit weird. Honestly, it's an abusive relationship if you ask me. But apparently that's how things are done in Nerithil. At least how things are done in this general world. So, I mean, I feel like I'd be just wrong to judge. I mean, imposing my own culture. I mean, maybe they enjoy getting killed. It's like I said, I'm assuming they're masochists. I might as well just carry that assumption to its logical conclusion. Also, I was curious for some of us through here, is anything going to be here when all the DLC is said and done? The answer is no. This is a dead end. Purely there for decorative purposes. Well, so much for that. Hey, Henri. Hang on. One sec. I'll talk to you later. Still need you to write stuff down, though. Ears aren't working still. And if you're at all curious why I just killed you, it's because you were gonna kill Henri. Too bad. Hey, I got a free spell. Nice. So hey, Henri, you're not gonna die now. Uh, I thought it might be you. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. I never managed to find a Horus. No, neither did I. But my duty must be done, even alone, as an unkindled Lord Seeker. Well, fair enough. As with all of us. For these children I knew, bless their souls. Yep. We all have our reasons, don't we? Well, I mean, kind of. Please take this recompense for my foolish request. Okay. And also token of protection. May the flames guide your way. Oh wait, no, this is the thing I was going for in the first place. Ring of the evil eye. Yes, perfect. Ah, you are brave indeed to face your duty alone. I would do well to learn from you. Oh, thank you. May the flames guide your way. Thanks. Alright, so the reason I went and murdered a statue in cold blood is because if I don't do that, what will happen is that Henri will get kidnapped and brought down to a much lower area later on. And then there's this marriage ceremony thing as part of one of the ending quests. I actually did it first time through. But I'm going for a different ending, and I just kind of want to keep Henri alive, because why would I let him die? It's like, it's not going to help me any. So Henri lives, and I get a Ring of the Evil Eye, because that's what I wanted in the first place. Of course, the question is, what do I replace? I guess I could replace Covetous Silver Serpent. I mean, that doesn't do me a whole lot of good. 
I don't really want to replace Havels unless I have to. Because that means using levels and vitality. And I like having both the Twin Blades and the Twin Daggers available at all times. I'm at it. Nah, the, the longbow's not that heavy. I don't know. Just thinking, if I drop this and I drop the longbow, that would actually, oh, that does actually work. That's kind of sad. I was hoping to have longbow as part of this build. Granted, I haven't used it much, and any range attacks have been through magic. So, I guess it kind of works out. Because this means that I can do things like Ultras of Sapphire, or Ultras of Ruby once I get it. Which won't be for a while. Or Pontus Red Eye, which actually I can't... Oh, never mind. No, I can't do this. Nope. It only works if I have three rings. So, forget it. It's effectively the same, except I get a longbow. Well, that was an interesting experiment. Let's continue. I think Lloyd's Shield Ring is going to be the one to go, ultimately. I can't see keeping that forever. Just doesn't seem worth it. Oh, yeah, right. Also, Bonfire. Might want to use that. This is a good position to Bonfire. This actually lets me get to the rest of Irithyll from here. First off, though... Alright, now I've invested more in my self-development, and Henri is further along, and presumably not dead on account of that statue not being there, and thus the person who was actually the statue, the, Yon the Londor Pilgrim, no longer there. Everything should be good, but that's not our path. Nor is it up through the section that I kind of bypassed. That's kind of death, right? No, it's not death. I could actually get through it, but it's not a direct path where I want to go. The direct path where I want to go is actually down here, in a manner of speaking. And this is the roster of knights, yeah, for the Blue Covenant, I believe. They're really rude. Yeah, check Darkmoon Knights. Oh, right, the Darkmoon Knights are here as well as the as the Way of Blue or whatever it was. Blue Sentinels, right, Blue Sentinels and... I can't remember what the difference is, actually. Oh, right, 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 Way of Blue helps out, blue sen helps out the people who are using the Way of Blue, which I don't have. Really? I must have stored that. Anyway. Because you have to get it. Like, in order to get past Emma, you have to get that covenant. So that's just weird. Anyhow, that aside, I... Oh, this is an area I want a torch. I just remembered this area really is nice with the torch. I also remembered I don't really have the weight capacity for a torch. I am running it really close to the mark. Actually, no, I could do. Oh, Pond of Night is, is lighter. I don't know if I like how it looks, though. And also, I use Pot of Night a lot in my... I don't know. What are the leggings? What are those like? They're lighter and not much worse defensively. I guess I could go for, like, cell sword and leggings and torch. Because with this torch, it makes it a lot easier to fight. That just looks weird. I don't like those leggings. Mmm, that works too. That works better. Awesome. Okay, where... Oh, right. Torch. Torch, torch, torch. I want to see where everyone is. Fading soul. I don't know why I'm getting those right now. That's kind of a waste. Oh, hey, it's Creighton. And also, it's a Corvian. Okay. Ow! Whoa! Ow! Sheesh! Careful there! You could have killed me! Ah, darn it. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Sheesh, I gotta be more careful here. Ah, two... There we go, there we go, there we go-ish, sort of. Oh, crap, you're gonna heal up, aren't you? No! <sighs> Shoot. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Oh, come on, go off the cliff, will you? Please, off the cliff. Okay, good. I avoided that. Uh, what? That seriously stunlocked me? No, 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 no. This is not a good fight for me. Oh, I almost got you off the cliff. Ha! Heal up on me, will ya? You jerk. That's what I do! Oh, nice! I've got him in a heal loop! Oh, perfect! Oh, that was mean, but it worked! Yes! Awesome! How many Estes did I get back? I got two Estes back. Nice. 
All right, well, that's Creighton down. Didn't get a whole lot of souls for that, but that's eh, still Creighton down. And Undead Bone Shard. Okay, that's a much better value. But yeah, I got rid of Creighton on my own. I could do it. And I got a parry off it, too. I'm double proud. And I still have Forestus. Mind you, it might be wiser just to go back and, you know, bonfire up. That seems like a good idea. There's really no reason not to. Okay, this is going remarkably well. I mean, I have gone through Irithyll, gotten rid of a few Pontiff Knights, gotten all the way to that bonfire, gotten on, gotten the Ring of the Evil Eye, and gotten rid of Creighton and Invader. And I haven't died yet. I'm pretty pleased with this. Where did the other guy go? Oh, what? Really? I thought the torch was supposed to reveal you. That's strange. If it doesn't reveal you, I'm wasting my time on this torch. Alright, so given what I have, and given what I'm dealing with, and given how this is going... There's dogs here. Oh, hey, that actually did help me. Okay, the torch can stay. The torch has done good work. I need to have this. I desperately need to have these. Actually. Yeah! Bah. Take arrow to the head! Oh, right. That's that's what happens. Every time. Yeah! Take Seltzer Twin Blade to the head! I'm getting a lot of Estus. I'm using very little, but I'm getting a lot back. Yeah! Yeah! And also HP back on kills. I am happy with this. Oh, and another one of you... Ow! Another one of you canine bastards. You can try. You can try hard. I'm not blaming you for trying. But, no. No, you're not. You're not going to. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. Is there anything up here? Maybe. Hard to tell. Could be up here. No, the answer is no. There is nothing up there. Wasting my time. Now, this is more useful for a torch. And also more useful to see that there's enemies here that are being a pain. And yes, I know the Karthus sword, the, the Twin Blade. Feels like Karthus because they were using that. I know the Twin Blade doesn't heal me up as well as it could, but this is a giant swath of enemies. And while I realize I can't do the whole thing with everything up... Actually, no, I could. Because they have glowing eyes. So I could do the thing where I just sort of Swamp on everything and get all this health from all these enemies dying, and it doesn't matter what they do to me. Actually, then I'd be better off with the twin with the daggers. Yeah. Ow. Nope. 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 You are all gonna die. Oh, except you're gonna hurt me a bit. You jerks. Okay, I'm overestimating myself here. Need to get that stamina back. Seriously? All right. Okay. Maybe I should torch up. That seems to be a thing I need to... Ow! Oh! Yeah, I really should torch up. I can't see. I really can't... I desperately can't see, and it's causing me problems. Yeah! Oh. Really? No healing? I mean, okay, there's healing. There's always healing. Every death heals me. Except that kind of countered what healing I would have gotten. Okay, well, that's fine. I still got healing. Oh, right, and you. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're, they're too dead. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Um, that's what Ring of the Evil Eyes for. I don't need to worry so much about whether or not I'm doing the Pontiff Ring stuff as well as I could, theoretically. Even though it does come up sometimes. I get it anyway. On kills. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Well, that worked out okay. Bit shaky. At one point, I got a little overconfident. It happens. But the important thing is I'm not dead. That is the most important thing in life, I'd say. Not being dead. Though I've been over that before. I think it's worth reiterating, though. I'm actually quite impressed I've managed to get through this far. Although this area I'm not really scared of. Really, the Pontifex is the only thing in Irithyll that scare me. And the possibility of falling to my death repeatedly. Otherwise... Ow, okay, you're a pain. You're not scary, you're just annoying. Same with you. You're, again, not scary, just kind of annoying. Okay, where's the guy who was shooting magic 
Oh, you're the guy shooting magic at me. Okay. I don't think I'll die if I fall. I don't want to risk it. Actually, you know what I could do? I have the option. I can put on the silver cat ring. Just in case. This is not death plane. It's just, you know, it could hurt if I fell off the rafters. And I don't want to risk it. I don't want to waste time either, but, you know, it's not a big deal. Editing is a thing. If I have to. If I fall. But I don't expect I'm going to fall. Except I am afraid I'm going to fall. I am clearly lying. I am very transparently lying, and I'm also transparently trying to figure out where the heck to go. I know there was something. I guess it's just this. And there's one guy. Seriously? I, serious? Oh, right. Right, right, right. Okay, now I remember what I'm supposed to do. It's a little tricky, but basically what I'm supposed to do is fall here. And that brings me to this chest, which is safe. Which gets me Yorshka's spear. I what does this do again anyway? Ah, here it is. Yorshka's spear. It Oh, interesting. Gets rid of enemy FP. And it's a spear hammer thing, because pole arms are nothing if not creative in their applications. And their construction. Like seriously, if you've if you ever look into pole arms at all, you'll find it's just it's like every single possible combination of hooks and bills and points, and hammers, and blades. Whatever you can imagine, someone somewhere, probably during the Renaissance, made it up. There'll be somewhere in Europe, there'll be some army that uses that combination of everything. Which is actually kind of cool, when you think about it, but yeah. Super flexible things, pole arms. Actually, very likely it's not even standardized. Very likely it's like they just used various combinations of all those elements. And that is every individual soldier's, soldier's own polearm. Very slightly varied from every other polearm. Uh, not too much, obviously. You want to have some amount of cohesion in the ranks. But enough, at least, that it's got, it's got a variety. You can deal with certain with various situations. Now, I know there's something in here that's a major... Well, I was right about something being a major threat for screaming. I just forgot where it was. Well, that's fine. Ow. That's health. I mean, every one of them that dies is healing, and every six hits is healing, so hey, healing. Also, blood gem. Less important, though. I don't have very high luck. I was actually considering going for a bleeding build, or a partial bleeding build. And I... Oh. I'm still seriously starting to wonder if the torch is doing me any good. Yeah, like, I... Don't think it is, honestly. It helped me in that one section. So I'll grant it that. It provided a useful service. Also, hidden path ahead. Wow, this one, this thing didn't have any survival instincts. And what do you provide to me? Twinkling Titanite. I'm sure I'll find a use for that at some point. I haven't found any yet. Everything's been Titanite shards, and everything I intend to use is going to involve Titanite scales. Which reminds me, I haven't seen any of those Titanite lizards in a while. But that's a side note. Anyway, considering the circumstances, I don't think I really need a torch here anymore. Be put away, torch. I guess I could use magic. I don't think I need... Yeah, I will just need magic. I won't need anything else. I'll also need these things. Because I have to deal with these weird leech tick things. Tick things, that's what it is. They're like ticks. They remind me a great deal of an enemy in Bloodborne, actually. There was... They weren't called ticks, they were called something else, but they were essentially... Blood letters! That's... Yeah, blood letters. The only difference between those things and the ones in Bloodborne is the ones in Bloodborne have this giant sack of blood underneath them. That's pretty much the only aesthetic difference. It's surprising just how similar that is. I, I realize I was already joking about the Pontiff Beast being the Watchdog of the Old Lords, which is one of the... Chap one of the Chalice Dungeon bosses. It's actually in a couple stock chalice dungeons. As you're going through the, as you're going through the whole thing to get to the final chalice dungeon boss, which involves going through about half the half of the fixed chalice dungeons, they pop up twice. First time they're okay. Second time they're a complete pain because your health is halved and their fire still deals full damage, of which they have plenty. But these things less of a threat, especially since compared to their bloodborne equivalents, they're way slower. 
Although I'll grant they also resemble the Gaping Dragon affair. Actually, wow, they resemble the Gaping Dragon a lot, come to think of it. You know, you know what? I, I might actually be exactly wrong now that I think about it. Looking at their body shape, it does almost seem more like it's a Gaping Dragon thing. And Boss and Dark Souls 1. All right, I'll take that back. Partially. They're, they're a combination of the Blood Letter and the Gaping Dragon. Or Blood Sucker, not Blood Letter. Blood, I'm thinking Blood Letting Beast. Another Chalice Dungeon boss. I've Bloodborne's a big game. There's a lot of things in it, much of which referencing blood. As I'm sure surprises nobody. I mean, the game's kind of revolving around it. That's a little surprising, I'm gonna think, but com compared to how much Dark Souls revolves around souls, which it does to a decent extent, it feels like Bloodborne focuses even more around blood. Which almost seems impossible, but it manages, it finds a way. So that's the dungeon. I don't really feel like going down there right now. I kind of feel like just going through Irithyll. I might actually fight Pont of Sullivan before going through the rest of the areas, because there's another ring I want in the area past Irithyll. And that means I have to go through Irithyll. Although admittedly, it's also the least useful of the three rings that I want. Also, I don't need to fall. You can go back to Lloyd Shield Ring. For what it's worth. <laughs> Which is very little. Actually, you know, I might even not bother with Lloyd's Shield Ring anymore. I mean, I like it. I might be getting too dependent on it. I'm just wondering what else is there I can use. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll think about it later. I plan to replace it with Aldrich's Ruby. So, when I get it, I'll get it. And deal with it. Alright, more of those weird spindly bloodsucker gaping dragon mixes. Ah! Nice try. I appreciate the effort. I I take that as a sign of respect on your part that you are working that hard to kill me. Sadly, it is not good enough. And I am not dead. Unlike you! I'm also nearly at full HP. Oh, I think one more, if I don't get hit, yeah, one more will be enough. There we go, full HP, Lloyd's Shield Ring is back online. My absorption has massively increased. Which I'm pretty sure is actually kind of useless dead. Like, it's one of those stats that it looks good on paper, it theoretically reduces your damage quite a bit, but if you do the math on how much you get from armor, it's not huge. It's not terrible, it's just not huge. I don't know how much it's worth this entire ring slot for, just to get an extra 20%. Or 10%, actually. But again, it's not nothing. And I got nothing better to put in there. Usually I find absorption of, like, absorption difference of, like, 10-15% usually makes the difference between a one-shot and a two-shot in really extreme circumstances. Like, if there's some attack in a damage type that you don't normally see, like Dark, for instance, and you have to deal with that, I find it's off- ew. I find it's often easier to just deal with that with some kind of protection magic, or some protection ring or something. It increases your absorption slightly, but it can be enough to avoid a one-shot kill. And that's what counts. Also, we'll be back here eventually once I save Ziegvert. I need to let... I want to have Grey Rat get saved first. Apparently, Ziegvert can do it as well. My one concern is that I don't know how reliable that is. I've heard that Ziegvert's quest can fail in the weirdest of ways. Like, just certain things can fail the trigger. You think you've done everything right, and then... Nope, Grey Rat's dead. You beat Pond of Sullivan. And the bad news, Grey Rat is no longer walking among this earth. You have to pick up his ashes and let the handmaiden do all the work. Oh, yeah. This bit. Oh. Right. Huh. I mean, I have plenty of Estus. So it's not like I'm wanting for that. Just really worried. Because there's the big Dragon Slayer bow wielder right up there. And I can fight in here safely enough, but still. Uh, I can't even target you. Okay, I can't target you. Hit! Get hit by magic! Black Knights! Oh yeah, Black Knights. Those are, those are really scary. I forgot about that. Nope. Bad. 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 Not so bad, actually. This is manageable. Ow, no, it's not manageable. Well, 
might be manageable, actually. Might be as bad as the one I was fighting before. Ow. What? Ow! This is what I was I knew was gonna happen! Because I can't roll through things in weird ways I don't get. Let's try this again with staggering weapons this time. I mean, these weapons are actually on a chance of getting some kind of momentum on. Come on. Ha. Ah, da. Eh, eh. At least I don't have to be so dangerously close. There we go. That's better. This is why I carry both the Twin Blades and the Twin Daggers. They have their uses. Each of them has their uses. And that was the Twin Blades' use. Now I've got to find some safe way of getting around here. Is there anything through here? Before I get to the shortcut? No, I have to get all the way to the shortcut. Yeah, right. Okay. Seriously? I was sure there was something, because I recall there being some kind of safe-ish area here. Some safe middling ground you can get to that would allow you to get to that section back there, because there's more in there. I just don't want to take it on when I have 25,000 souls in my inventory and no easy way of spending them or dealing with them. Ah. Ow. Stupid dogs. Ow. Quit it. Oh, come on. I guess it's more of a task for... Ow. Okay, this... This should be fine. I can just get to you and kill you. No, frow! Shoot, you have friends. I can't remember if your friends are dog escorted. Yeah, yeah, yes they are. That's fine, because I can kill the dogs too. And except your friend, their dogs are spell escorted! Ow! See, that was my concern, is that there's not really any safe way of getting up to the Dragon Slayer bow user. Ay. Unless they... Oh, come now. Must you... The problem is that my magic absorption is terrible. Like, it's actually negative. Which is why I'm really worried and I'm trying to just deal with this one at a time. So I can just deal with this one at a time. Especially with these dogs that dodge everything. Okay. Because there's a Ow! Why did I walk into that? Ow! Darn your Farron darts. Or Great Farron darts, whatever it's called. Not a fan of your spell casting, good sir. I'd like you to cease and desist. All right, so that's the first step, is a shortcut here. Which, granted, isn't a great shortcut, actually, if you look at it. But it is a shortcut. And it's actually a shortcut from a better side, from a better vantage point that I can get through stuff. The problem, however, is that I have to walk past potentially a couple Irithal knights. Although it does mean I can go through here without any effort, which is nice. And another large titanite chart. I think some upgrading is in order. Yes! Yes, it is. It is definitely in order. All right, so they've gone. I don't remember if I can go past here without awaking... No, I, I can. Good. Yeah, it's not a great shortcut. Gotta be honest, it's, it's an okay shortcut, but Irithyll is a bit stingy with shortcuts. Can't say I'm ter terribly surprised, though. I don't actually terribly mind, come to think of it. And most of the game is actually really liberal with shortcuts in a way that makes them almost seem pointless. Like, part of me wonders if Irithyll was the first place they designed. Because it's got a design very similar to Bloodborne, which was their previous game at the time. And I feel like this was designed after Bloodborne, naturally. It's a, very, it's a city and all these roads and such. It feels a lot like Old Yarnum. Especially with that, with the height-changing shortcut there. And then you have, like, Hotwell of Lothric, which is clearly based off Volatarium from Demon Souls. But the rest of it, like, there's some basis in other areas, but it doesn't feel like it's as well designed. Those two areas, this area and Hotwell of Lothric, feel like the best designed areas, like the most intentionally designed areas. And so I don't really mind when you have stuff like this, like, these shortcuts being as much of a pain in the butt as they are, because it's like, well, you know, they're, like, they're actually pretty well spaced out. They're not terrible, but they do make you think, hey, do I really want to take this shortcut? Which is an important question that shortcuts should force you to ask. Ow. Ow. And a lot of the rest of the game, it doesn't really force you to ask that. So it's a neat little thing Earthle does. I mean, this shortcut is still better than the alternative, because going the other way would still mean I have to go through and fight all these in a disadvantaged situation. Like, they're, clearly, they're not waking up until, they get, until I get close to them, which is fine. 
Ah, except dogs are a pain. I do not like dogs. And real life dogs are okay. When they're trying to kill me in a game, no. Actually, if they're trying to kill me in real life, also no. But then it's like, no, bad dog, down. Stop trying to eat me. Which I guess isn't necessarily compelling. I mean, if they're if they're going after you, they're probably just going to go after you. I don't think I don't think you can really do much about it. Oh, oh, thank goodness the Black Knights stay dead. I wasn't sure if they were like Silver Knights, because those usually don't stay dead. Sadly, there's another one of them. Well, we have strategy. We have great magic weapon. We also have much less at stake. Are you gonna like come here? Hello, get over here. Thank you. Ow. Well, ha! I stun you, and then kill you, and get a bunch of HP in the process. And then your friend. With the bow. Oh, I think actually there's another weapon they'll use if I get close. Yes, they do. And I, the might frostbite... Oh, oh, frostbite orbs. I mean, not orbs. Vases. Urns. That's the word. Actually, urns are thrown. Ah, oh, whatever. I know what I mean. Ha-ha! You fool! Going for the great bow when I'm nearby. It's your last mistake. And I believe actually last, because these things don't respawn, as far as I'm aware. Well, that's the... That's the cathedral error, chapel error. I can't remember what this is, because it reminds me of something... It's supposed to remind me of something in the original Dark Souls. It's not the painting Guardian Hall, though, and it's just... Sort of a general, hey, you're in Anorlando now, which, spoilers, you're in Anorlando now, and actually have been most of the time. Alright, one of you is a mimic. I think. Oh, well, no, I guess none of them are mimics. Alright, cool. Smo's great hammer. Oh, right, this is the, no, it's not the Ornstein and Smo fight, you get to that later. I mean, it's supposed to, I think, remind you of the Ornstein and Smo arena, but it's not the Ornstein and Smo arena. This is totally different. No, it's a new area. It's just an area I haven't seen before. It's Anorlando E, because, like I said, spoilers, we're in Anorlando. But it's not Anorlando. Also, Leo Ring, that does something I like, but I can't remember if it does much. Like thrust, I think. No, it's counters. Yeah, thrust weapon counterattacks. Which is not great because I'm not using any thrust weapons. Never mind. But yeah, if you ever wanted if you're ever playing the original Dark Souls and you were looking down and saw this giant city area below Anorlando and wondered, man. I want to go there. Here it is. Yeah, I should probably point out this is not a blind playthrough. If I hadn't pointed out already, this is not a blind playthrough, and this is, in fact, a playthrough that will involve some spoilers. In advance of when they actually come up, in certain cases. Granted, that's kind of a put two and two together thing. It's like, oh, that looks a lot like Anorlando. I wonder why. Maybe because it's Anorlando. Hmm. Interesting thought. Okay, so there's you. I can't remember if there's any other you around here. I feel like there aren't. Well, maybe further up the staircase. I know there's something else that's a little bit annoying to deal with further up the staircase. And after that, that will be it. I probably should have ended the episode already, come to think of it. Certainly, once I open that up, there's something else I need to do around here. Ow. Nope. Bad. 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 Okay. Now, again... No, bad, bad, and bad. And you're just, you're legless. You're still a threat, though. Can't really let you, I can't really sleep on you, can I? Alright, so, that's been all taken care of. Oh, yeah, there's these guys, too. Sleeping on them. And on this one, ow! Would you stop, please? For the love of God, would you stop? I'm not getting enough healing off of you. Sheesh. Surprised they were that much damaging. Okay, now I can kill you. And you. And hopefully I don't get frostbite in the process. Which I won't. And ladder. This is the ladder I was looking for. Which will get me to the area that I was going to drop down to if I drop down. From up there. And then I get large titan a charge without having to fight... Without having to fight tooth and nail through all those enemies from the high ground. You know what? This actually would have been a better idea, come to think of it. This gave me the high ground. Or would have given me the high ground. Oh well, live and learn. Since, you know, I'm alive, I have not died yet. Well, except a couple times. I've rarely died thus far. And I just remembered there was actually an area I missed early, or... Oh, no, actually, no, I don't think I did. 
There's an area that has an Imagine Evangelist in it that's further down, but I think I have to go through here to get to it. Also, you. Oh, you're going to be a pain in the butt, aren't you? How the heck did that... Oh, you didn't, you didn't hit me. What? Well, I'll just cut you then. I mean, you're... Ow. Okay, seriously? Seriously? Ah. All right, well, I'm not going to try to parry you at this point. I'm just going to... Oh, go for the cutting. Darn it, staircases. Ah. All right, fine. Do it your way. Magic to the face. Actually, that's not your way at all. Your way is, in fact, trying to kill me, but... Ow! Shoot, I thought I'd dodge that. Ah, there we go. Got the backstab. There we go. That's what I needed. That's all I needed. And no, that's not all I needed. Well, large dynamite charge is definitely useful. See what I mean? Also, hey, it's Pond of Sullivan. I could actually fight Pond of Sullivan. I'm not going to fight Pond of Sullivan yet. Sorry. Spoilers. Actually, I'm not going to fight in this episode. There's other things I feel need dealing with in shortcut terms. I'm not going to be Pond of Sullivan in one. Actually, Pond of Sullivan is kind of scary, all things considered, because they're. They're just scary for a lot of reasons. Like, they're they are a very tough boss that I'm not looking forward to fighting. Just to put it bluntly, I had a very hard time with Ponto Sullivan the first time. It was... Like, it was enough that I had to seriously reconsider some aspects of my own approach to life because of Ponto Sullivan, because of how I reacted to Ponto Sullivan. They are that hard. They were that much of a pain. Oh, I've got to deal with you. Ow. Okay, I've got to deal with both of you then. Okay, but you've put yourself in prime backstabbing or prime shield bashing position. Either way, I can cut you through the front and kill you. And I've also opened up the shortcuts, so my job here is done. But yes, this is going to be one of those rare episodes where we end... Well, probably next one starts in a boss fight rather than the last one ending on a boss fight. It's been unorthodox, but it's... it'll make sense. Actually, the next one will probably be two boss fights, come to think of the way I'm going through this. What I might do... I might split it up weirdly. Hmm. Think about it. Oh, I can't backstab you! Right! I forgot about that. Soul of Weary Warrior. Oh, yeah, there's more stuff around here, too, because there's nothing that's going to stop me. Hey! Nice. Okay, well, I think that's about enough. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And until next time, enjoy stuff.